Hello, uh, my name is Anton. I am an editor on Ukrainian Wikipedia. I am programs coordinator at Wikimedia Ukraine. And today I will uh, talk about how Russia's war in Ukraine has impacted the Ukrainian Wikimedia community. So, uh, okay. we will have uh, a presentation. Uh, I will do a presentation with a general overview of the Russian war in Ukraine, for those who perhaps may not have followed it closely, uh, but the bulk of my presentation will be devoted to the impact of the war on the Ukrainian wiki community. It will go for about 15 minutes, so not 10, but about 15 minutes. Uh, then we will uh, take a look at uh, four pre-recorded videos from a few different uh, Ukrainian Wikimedians who have been affected by the war, who have uh, joined the army, have been volunteering, have been displaced by the war. Uh, th th those videos were specifically recorded for Wikimania participants, and we will, uh, we will take a look at them. And then if you have any questions, uh, there is some space at the end for that, and you will be able to, uh, and I will review uh, the questions you can write in the feedback chat. Uh, but just as a reminder, there is some lag between, uh, there is some lag, so it's better to write your questions b beforehand, and I will uh, review them at the end of the presentation. Uh, so let's start. and. Uh, uh, let's start with a, a brief background, again, for, just for uh, people who might not have followed it closely. Uh, February the 24th of this year became perhaps the most memorable date for uh, millions of Ukrainians, for the lives of millions of Ukrainians, including myself. It is the date when uh, Russia started a military aggression against Ukraine, when Russia started its military invasion. Uh, it is uh, not the first instance of Russian military aggression against Ukraine, but it is uh, the beginning of the big war, which has appended the lives of uh, uh, all Ukrainians, uh, and uh, around a third of the population has been uh, displaced, uh, either within uh, Ukraine or have been forced to flee uh, the country. Uh, and. Uh, According to the estimates uh, by the Ukrainian government, close to 30,000 people, uh, 30,000 civilians were killed uh, in the war, and uh, an undisclosed number of Ukrainian military personnel. Uh, Ukraine's economy has been decimated by the war, but importantly, this war has had a global, a global impact as well. So, uh, for example, just as one example, the blockade has been threatening a global food security with effects in many countries in Africa and elsewhere. But again, uh, I want to talk not so much about the war uh, itself uh, as more about the, the impact on the Wikimedia community in, uh, in, in Ukraine. Uh, and uh, like millions of other Ukrainians, dozens of volunteers from the Ukrainian Wiki community have had to to flee their homes, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to try to uh, save themselves in the face of the war. Uh, thankfully, many people have already been able to return, uh, especially as the cave region, as northern U Ukraine had been liberated, and myself included, I also uh, was able to return to cave. Uh, but still, many people are not able to return because, uh, first of all, southern and eastern Ukraine is still uh, uh, either occupied or uh, um, placed to active uh, um, to active military action, and uh, 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 other parts of Ukraine, while uh, safer, are still not fully safe. Are still under the risk of uh, constant missile attacks. There are multiple uh, air raid sirens every day, so many people are not able to return, especially parents with young children. If that concerns uh, not only that concerns all Ukrainians, but also people from the Wikimedia community uh, as well. Uh, many people have joined the army uh, and um, are now serving in various roles, in uh, uh, either in active combat or serving in various logistical and other supplementary roles in the army. Uh, at least one Wikimedian unfortunately died in combat, and. Uh, 
among uh, among civilian Wikimedians, uh, we have not been able to establish contact with uh, at least one uh, person from Mariupol, which uh, has been the site of uh, perhaps uh, which has been the city that perhaps suffered the most from the war, and uh, we fear that something uh, terrible might have happened to him, but we have not been able to establish uh, uh, to establish a contact. Uh, here is a photo of uh, Mikola Kravchenko, who is uh, the Wikimedian who died in combat uh, while defending uh, the Kyiv region, defending Kyiv in early March. Uh, but I, uh, but apart from honoring uh, honoring him and other people, uh, I also wanted to take a statistical look uh, the impact on the community uh, in terms of uh, numbers. And what we see is that. Uh, at the beginning of the all-out war, user activity decreased sharply on Ukrainian Wikipedia. So we had a 40% decrease year over year in terms of user activity uh, because uh, people were just not being uh, able to to have enough uh, technical technical uh, technical possibilities and enough uh, time and enough. Uh, f- f- and, uh, opportunities to edit Wikipedia. Uh, fortunately, the user activity has more or less bounced back as the life became more stable for people. Uh, but uh, but uh, still a lot of people are not able to fully return to volunteering uh, in the Wikimedia ecosystem. Uh, it's, it's, it is a small sample, but in June, uh, Two-thirds of Wikimedia Ukraine members in a survey reported that their activity had decreased either considerably or somewhat since the all-out invasion. And the most uh, widespread reasons, as you might have guessed, are a lack of time. Uh, So, for example, new volunteer or caretaking responsibilities. Uh, It's also technical inability, so literally no internet and no possibility to edit Wikipedia while in a bomb shelter. And also, uh, psychological stress has played a uh, big role. Uh, here is an example of uh, Ukrainian Wikimedians meeting online during the, the war, trying to support themselves uh, psychologically. And in terms of su- support, there has been a lot of support to community members affected, fortunately. Uh, and we are we've been working on that, and we are also uh, really grateful to everyone who has uh, who has joined. Uh, so uh, there has been financial support, uh, food and hygiene packages sent to community members in need. Uh, Wikimedia Ukraine and the local community more broadly has been working on that. Uh, there's been a support from a support with relocation and accommodation uh, outside Ukraine. Uh, so multiple affiliates from Europe and even from outside of Europe also have uh, reached out and offered help and multiple community members as well. It's been uh, also really helpful and we are uh, grateful for that. And uh, um, the Wikimedia Foundation, Wikimedia Ukraine and many other organizations and people provided information, support, useful useful materials and so on. Uh, but outside of the and outside of the impact on the community itself. I also wanted to take a look at the, uh, the impact on Wikipedia readership, uh, the impact of the war on Wikipedia readership. And here we see a complete opposite uh, picture. Here we see that while the, the activity of uh, Wikipedia volunteers has uh, dropped uh, because of the war, readership interested gr- uh, has grown uh, and it grew considerably. Uh, because people were have been in need of uh, verified information, people have been in need of information in general, uh, trying to understand how the, the war impacts their lives, uh, trying to understand uh, understand everything from from different uh, weapon systems to different uh, societal phenomena, and uh, April became the second highest. Uh, months uh, in the history of Ukrainian Wikipedia in terms of uh, the number of uh, user views of uh, Wikipedia articles. And uh, obviously, predictably, the topic of the war has been uh, most popular. 
the article about Russia's invasion itself has uh, gathered around uh, 3 million views in uh, less than half a year, which is uh, an absolute record for Ukrainian Wikipedia. Uh, it's in Ukrainian, but here is uh, a list of uh, the most popular articles on Ukrainian Wikipedia during the war. And uh, yes, it is uh, uh, the, the topics of the war uh, are uh, pe people have been uh, really in need of uh, information uh, on the topic of the war, and they have been turning to to Wikipedia to uh, to get it. Um, there are uh, hundreds and likely thousands of articles only on Ukrainian Wikipedia covering uh, everything from major major battles to uh, war memes and. Uh, uh, all, uh, and also, uh, of course, it's only the Ukrainian edition I'm talking about. There is extensive coverage in other language editions as well. Uh, on Thursday, during the first day of Wikimania, we had uh, a session devoted to uh, the efforts of covering uh, Ukrainian cultural heritage, which is under threat. The session uh, called Glam in Crisis. You can go back and uh, rewatch that. Uh, and uh, also to briefly say that uh, there was a thematic week, which later turned to a permanent project uh, in Ukrainian Wikipedia to coordinate the efforts to cover the war, since uh, the, there has been uh, such a uh, there has been su such a uh, uh, huge need, uh, such a huge need uh, by readers in uh, this uh, in reading about this topic. Uh, as I am wrapping up my uh, presentation, uh, here are some helpful links where you can learn more. So t today I just uh, uh, I, I, I was talking about some general trends, but it is uh, more uh, instructive and more uh, interesting to read personal stories of people who have been uh, affected and I I sent a link to the Facebook chat, uh, and it is also uh, in the second point of this slide, stories of Ukrainian Wikimedians during the war. You can open this link and uh, read some personal stories. Uh, most of them are available in English and uh, have been published in the signed post or on diff. Uh, there is also the general portal with helpful links devoted to the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which you can check. And there are many sources providing general coverage of Ukraine in English, uh, including the Kiev Independent, which is the largest English language outlet about Ukraine. And uh, finally, how you can help. There are many ways to help uh, Ukraine in its fight for democracy and freedom. The first uh, option is just to speak out and to voice your support on different levels. If you can, you can. Uh, if you can donate money, that is also a, a good way to help. And there are many, uh, many places where the money would be helpful. And also you can help improve the coverage of Ukraine on Wikipedia. So, for example, in uh, February and March, we had Ukrainian culture, cultural diplomacy months on Wikipedia, which uh, only accidentally coincided with the war, but uh, which attracted a lot of attention and thousands of articles about Ukrainian culture were created. But uh, uh, there is no limit and uh, there are still topics in need of coverage, so uh, you can join and help us improve the coverage uh, of Ukraine on Wikipedia, on different language editions. Uh, and now uh, we will take a look at some uh, at a few videos from uh, people who have uh, recorded their greetings and uh, their stories for Wikimania participants. Hi, I'm Renway and I am editing Wikimedia projects for eight years now, mainly focusing on Ukrainian wikis and cross wiki patrolling. Um, despite not living in Ukraine for a couple of years now, a war in my home country massively influenced my work on Wikimedia projects. For example, right after Russian invasion, I was quickly appointed as temporary admin on Ukrainian Wikipedia, as some of our administrators were either drawn to army or had to escape the war. Also, I happened to be awake 
early in the morning on 24th of February, I created the article on Russian invasion on Ukrainian Wikipedia. Only in nightmares could I imagine creating a page on a war that was declared against my country. Also, uh, I was Wikimedia Ukraine employee at the time, responsible for Ukrainian Cultural Diplomacy Month, which suddenly became so much more important for whole Wikimedia community. In real life, I joined my fellow expatriates providing help for, for refugees from Ukraine and became part of some of informational campaigns. I want to thank Wikimedians from all around the globe for words and proposals of support that I received in the last six months. I hope we will find ourselves in a better world soon. But for now, take care. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Olga. I'm from Kyiv, Ukraine. I'm a press secretary and a board member at Wikimedia Ukraine. Uh, since the beginning of the Russian full-scale invasion, I haven't edited any article at Wikipedia at all. I still cannot read books, but lately I started to watch some old soap operas, so hope I will be back soon. Of course, I am involved in meetings with the other board members, uh, organizational committee of Wikilove's monuments in Ukraine, do some communication activities with the Wikimedia Ukraine com team. Uh, there was few uh, good news lately. Uh, Odessa, city in the south of Ukraine, in English Wikipedia, finally received its correct spelling with one S. And also Ukrainian Wikipedia catches up the Arabic Wikipedia. And uh, I must say I'm very proud of all Ukrainian Wikipedians and uh, actually for all Wiki contributors who helped to cover the correct information about the war. I want to say thank you all for this. Uh, a few weeks after the full-scale invasion started, I moved to Germany with my four years old son. I met many great people on my way um, and I will be grateful for them. Uh, forever. I want to say thanks to Romanians, Poles, Germans, um, people from the country that I crossed on my way. Actually, to all the people from different countries and um, representatives of different nations for your support and solidarity. Uh, my job connected to the help of people affected by the war in Ukraine now and I'm glad that I have the opportunities to be helpful to my country and my compatriots uh, right now uh, in this hard time. Now I'm in Kyiv at my home. Uh, the air attack ride system yesterday worked a few times a day and um, today there were no um, sirens but it's not the evening though. Uh, I come for a few weeks to meet my family, friends and just visit some places in the capital of great people in Kyiv. I wish all of you uh, never feel the wartime, never heard the sirens, never made the hardest decisions in your life in one day. And my sincere condolences for those uh, who have already experienced this on its own. Uh, stay safe, contribute to Wiki projects. Uh, thank you all for your support and let's spread the free knowledge and try to make this world a bit better place to live in. Hello guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Oleg Andres, I'm Wikipedia editor. Also I am PhD in political science and now I serve in uh, Armed Forces of Ukraine since February uh, 2022. Uh, so, uh, one year ago I took part in Wiki Loves Airs con photo contest and I won some of the prizes for this contest because I uploaded a lot of uh, unique photos from the protest uh, against the destruction of natural reserves in Ukraine. Uh, so, I'm very <coughs> proud of being, uh, being involved in this photo contest one year ago. Uh, now, after the after start of full-scale war in, in Ukraine, I serve for five months in Armed Forces of Ukraine as an officer. Uh, also, I would like to thank uh, all the Wikipedia editors for the uh, like invitation to to your to your event. 
Uh, also, last five months uh, I took part not only in <laughs> Russo-Ukrainian war, but in some other activities like a creation of my fifth uh, photo exhibition, uh, which took, took place in Kiev and so-called Mala Opera. So this photo exhibition was devoted to the Russo-Ukrainian war and all that I've seen in this war. Also, I helped to, uh, to tra transport and to move at least 40 um, stray cats from Kiev Zoo from the shelter which is called Cat Town. I, I was one of the co-founders of NGO that uh, helps stray cats in Kiev Zoo to survive and to find new home. So these cats uh, in the middle of the war in March uh, of this year were moved to Poland and after then Centaurus and Go helped to uh, find the new homes for this case. So uh, this is my main activities last five months and I hope uh, Ukraine will win this war. I hope I will see all your friends, all your friends in real life in one year in the next meeting of Wikipedia. So thanks a lot. See you. Hi, my name is Irina. I am an art historian and researcher and in January, I joined Wikimedia Ukraine as a project manager for the Wikilove's Earth International Photo Contest. So, despite Russian troops gathering on the Ukrainian borders, I had quite exciting plans for my spring and summer. I was planning to go to Kharkiv to visit my mother, who moved there last year, and I wanted to go to Mariupol, where the cultural life was just booming and I wanted to organize an art exhibition in my home city of Zaporizhia. But on, on the 24th of February, I realized that this is a privilege to be able to build plans for the future. Um, and when I heard first explosions, I was determined to stay in Kyiv. In two days, I and my friends went to Lviv and later in spring I moved to the UK. I, so yeah, here I am in London recording this video and building my life from scratch. I go to the protests a few times a week. I recently had my first pride with the Ukrainian community in Brighton city and I've just actually came back from another protest. Today we shared the Downing Street with the Free Palestine Movement. I'm going for another protest on Friday. And honestly, I'm not gonna stop. As you may know, um, it's not possible to take flights from Ukraine anymore. And obviously you cannot take flight from abroad to Ukraine. So this is my dream and this is my plan. Uh, to take first flight from London to Kyiv, a capital of independent, independent Ukraine. So, see you there and stand with Ukraine. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. I think that uh, uh, with, uh, we are running out of time uh, and uh, we started a bit later so uh, if you have if there is a couple of questions I can take them but uh, I do not see questions so far in the etherpad uh, so if you have uh, any questions uh, further if you have any questions after this call uh, after this uh, session you can uh, reach out to me directly uh, i will upload the slides to the to wikimedia commons and we'll share the slides uh, uh, we'll share the slides with wikimedia participants uh, you will be able to make use of the links shared in the presentation and uh, thank you uh, for joining the session, see you at Wikimania.